Hello, welcome to my garden. I hope you've had a good week. So I thought it'd be fun to do a video on what we are planting out in the garden right now. So this is going to be all those heat loving crops. So if you haven't started your garden yet or you haven't gone shopping for plants yet, this is a good time to see what we can be growing in this warm season that we're going into. And if not, just enjoy walking around the garden with me and checking, on, checking up on all the things that we've planted. Um, and right now you might notice that this is the Graham Thomas Rose uh, and it's really starting to fill out this arch. There are so many little blood, bud clusters here. There are so many little bud clusters here that are getting ready to bloom, but I really love this rose. It smells like tea. It has like a tea scent to it. And um, yeah, it's a really great time to be out in the garden. So join me. So something magical is happening right now. This is one of our newer developments. We have bluebirds that have taken up in our little bluebird house. There we go. Okay, that's the bluebird. Went right into the house. Look at that. Right as we're filming here. Well, that's magical. So that's the bluebird house. And I'll just take you back so you can see. This is the rose arch. So fun. I love this time of year. Look at that. All right, I think a good place to start would be here. And you might recognize this pole bean trellis um, from one of our previous videos, but we have some corn, some beans, and there's definitely some zucchini and there's some cucumber too. So come on closer and I'll show you what's going on in this bed. So this is silver queen corn. And I took some beans that I, tra that I had started in seed cells and I transplanted them down in here. You can see the beans just kind of climbing here up on the pole. So these are beans. We've got corn. And then I want to show you this really cool. Back over here, we had our very first zucchini come in. So um, if you can see here, this is zucchini. And I went ahead and I hand pollinated both of the squashes because I am so hungry for zucchini. We've been waiting all season for it. So now we have two zucchinis. I really wanted to make sure they got pollinated. So we're, you know how fast zucchini grows. So we're gonna be having some homegrown zucchini soon. But that's what we have going on in this bed. And I do have one lone cucumber right here that does look like it has some baby cucumbers. Can you see that? So cucumber is another great thing that you wanna get started. And I also have some in seed cells that need to be transplanted. So you're not at all behind. Um, so we got beans, cucumber, corn, zucchini, um, and then over here, come on over this way. This is our cattle panel trellis, and my plan for this trellis is to grow winter squashes on it. I just transplanted these winter squash seedlings into this bed. So far, they're looking really good. There is one down this way that's not looking so great, but we'll see if he recovers or not. Um, but winter squash, despite its name, needs to be planted in the summer because it actually grows during the warm season. And the reason it's called winter squash is because it is something that can be picked and cured and stored for winter. So that's why you might be eating butternut squash soup or pumpkin items during the winter months. But despite its name, you have to plant them now. So that's some winter squash. So this is my messy corner where kind of anything goes and I just kind of grow what I can until I have a plan. So this is my also designated pepper area. And basically I have how many different varieties? I have a little uh, number here and that corresponds to a spreadsheet that tells me what varieties. But I think we have one, two, three, four different varieties of peppers here. The majority of them are jalapenos and poblanos because those are peppers that I use a lot to cook with. Um, so yeah, this is my designated pepper bed. Definitely get some peppers. Um, starting from seed right now might be kind of difficult because it takes some time, but you can just go to the nursery and get some too. Um, I especially go to the nursery for hot peppers, like super hot um, habaneros and ghost peppers. But you know, you can start some jalapenos yourself from seed. But I found a lot that a lot of the super hots, um, it's just so easy to go and grab one.
oh my gosh, there's a little monarch flying around here. So I just wanted to show you a little view. The summer garden right now is just like full with native plants. The native plants are really, really growing a lot right now. This is the native plant garden. And um, coming soon, I'll be sharing all about our new garden beds, but that's not the topic of today's video. Tomatoes are one that's iconic for summer. You know that the best tomatoes ripen in the summer when it's nice and warm. You can see we have our first clusters of tomatoes. I'm really happy with this variety. It's pink champagne from High Mowing Seeds. And so yeah, tomatoes, you can still get those in the ground. I have different tomatoes at different stages right now. And then over here, another, well, we have another bed. This bed is more peppers and then tomatillos. So this one is a must grow for me. I love tomatillos and you can see I'm using just extra tomato cages to support them all, which usually seems fine. Um, it does get a little unruly, but that's okay. And tomatillos, you can see, we already have some flowers on the tomatillos. And one little tip is you always wanna plant more than one. A, because you're just going to want to eat a lot of tomatillos and they freeze really well. But B, um, tomatillos need another plant for pollination. So you definitely want to plant more than one tomatillo plant. I actually have six in this bed and you can see they're all just growing fine. They do need support. So you just want to make sure you find something to support them. I've seen them woven through cattle panel. You could do tomato cages. You could do whatever you need. Um, but tomatillos are a very um, great summer crop. That's our asparagus bed over there. All right, so like I said, this video is not about our new garden beds, um, but I did plant melons all along the front of this bed. And so this is a variety of cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon. Um, you can see that I started a lot of them in my summer seed starting vlog, um, if you watch that. But basically, these are the melons for the year, and I'm excited to see them grow because last year I did not plant quite so many, um, and a lot of these are new to me varieties. So definitely melons are a great one to add to your list. There's nothing like a homegrown, sweet, summer ripened melon. So this is an overwintered eggplant, but even if you didn't overwinter an eggplant, you can go to the nursery and get an eggplant seedling. It's a little late to start one yourself. They do take some time, but you can see we already have our first eggplants developing. So overwintering in mild climates like mine is just a great way to kind of get a head start. Um, and this guy seems really happy. He made it through some of the colder nights. I was really impressed. So eggplant's another good one. And last but not least, this is some of like the seedlings that I haven't made space for yet that still need to go in the garden. We've got an assortment of peppers, marigolds, some more types of winter squashes there. That's some celosia and yeah. So, and there's also onions and there's still an eggplant, but I think that one's gonna go to um, my mom. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed just kind of wandering for a little bit. I wanted to do a quick rundown of just, you know, the kinds of things we're transplanting right now in the garden and what you can grow in the upcoming season and also show things like at their seedling stage, you know? So stay tuned. Um, obviously we'll be talking about our new garden soon and thank you so much once again.